We're here with the Royals head coach Dennis Bloss after two wins here against Marymount. Uh, coach, these were uh, not quite as easy as they were to come by against Ottawa at the ballpark a week ago, but uh, you come away with two more regardless, and uh, you guys get in a situation where you get, have a chance to pla practice some uh, clutch at bats uh, and uh, really kind of grind out two really close games here. What what was the key for you guys today in the pair of wins? Well, I mean, it was the first game Alexis Sargent really clutched up with her two RBIs, and, and in the second run, Bella uh, Casares really did a good job of getting the extra base and, and getting home on that throw. I bet Sarge did a good job with that. I gotta give credit to our two pitchers, you know. The offense wasn't here today. And um, those two pitchers really, th I think Taylor Pierce threw a four hitter complete game. And then Jamie Ponce threw a three hitter, two hitter, you know, for a complete game again. So our pitchers and our defense did a job. Our offense didn't show up today. Um, and uh, yes, yesterday we had a bad practice and it, it showed today. So we gotta get ready tomorrow and uh, we gotta get ready to go. Uh, Coach, with uh, former GSAC rival coming up tomorrow on the schedule, um, what, what do you tell your team after a game like today uh, in order to just kind of hit the reset button and get ready for some tough competition from the Eagles? That's the best part about this game. You know, we played, didn't play very our best, and you still got it with two Ws, but now you just get to go play another opponent. And you know, it's a little bit of a rivalry, you know, and, and, um, and I haven't had most success against them in my three years here. And, uh, and but our kids are ready to play. They'll be ready tomorrow. We'll bounce back and hopefully our offense will show up and then we'll be ready to go. Um, you always gotta love competition, especially by all they're a good school, moved up to Division Two. that should motivate our kids. That if they could beat a Division Two school, then things are gonna go good for us. And then coach, if I could, um, you, you mentioned a couple names already. Um, does it do anything for your team's uh, chemistry or their mindset to see some of the some of the hitters in the bottom of the order, some of the the freshmen, the sophomores, really clutch up today with uh, key performances? Well, I hope it does. Then I hope it wakes them up. So when they get their shot, you know that they step up to the plate. You know that's why we have 26 players in the team because everybody has done a job. Toby Salzman forgot to mention her in the second game, clutched up, right? Got a base hit, you know, and then and then once she gets that calf injury taken care of, she'll be in there DP in a lot. So it's a good thing. We just got to keep working hard. And uh, once that occurs, we'll be all right. All right. Well, we want to congratulate you on the two victories, Coach, and uh, best of luck tomorrow against Biola. Thank you.